Hello everybody, so welcome to Beyond the Stars Astrology. I am Joachim and in this video let's continue part 2 of the 27 nakshatras according to the Taittiriya Brahmana, one of the most ancient uh, texts on the nakshatras actually and there are quite a few interesting differences between modern day and nakshatra analysis or observations and this text in itself now uh, as matter of a part of two the first nakshatra of the nakshatra circle where do we locate that where is the beginning in a circle so you can already question that so the 27 nakshatras they form a circle, and when you are confronted with a circle, it's always a little bit of a question about better as to where this beginning now actually is, which nakshatra is first. So modern convention mm, treats Ashwini nakshatra as the first nakshatra, and as per the Rig Veda, the Ashvins were first in the race to the sun, so they most certainly are first in uh, the circle, which is okay. But then we also have Mula Nakshatra, and Mula hosts the galactic center. It's considered the navel of Vishnu, through which our cycle of creation was born, and through which uh, will one day retract in. So Mula must therefore also certainly uh, be taken as a first nakshatra. So mula means uh, root and by extension the beginning of something. And there are also muhurta techniques that measure calculations from mula nakshatra, which support the idea of mula being first. Now, in respect to Vimshatari Dasha system, the calculations commence from Kritika nakshatra. And so it takes Kritika as first. And there is also a tradition of ancient texts, including the Taitriya Brahmana, to start their nakshatra listings at Kritika. So during the time these texts were composed, when those texts actually were uh, composed, the vernal equinox was in Kritika nakshatra. And so many scholars um, believe that texts from that era started their nakshatras at Kritika. So after examining the sutras in the Taittiriya Brahmana, it is uh, our belief here at Beyond the Stars Astrology and Kala Vedic Astrology Software and that there is something constant and true about starting the nakshatra circle at Kritika. So Kritika is of Akni. Uh, who is the first and most mentioned deity in the Rig Veda. However, Akni was uh, at some point in time not considered a very important deity because he, amongst the gods, he was a little bit looked down upon because he actually has a lot of interaction in the form of fire here on earth. So that was kind of degrading for the opulences of the, the gods, you can say to be interacting with the humans so much later in time. Uh, so since Taitriya Brahmana starts um, the Nakshatra Mandala at Kritika for purpose of studying these sutras, you should uh, try to see if this actually makes some sense to start the Kritika Nakshatra as the beginning of the Nakshatra Mandala. So in addition to Ashwini and Mula or Kritika beginning the circle of Nakshatras, uh, it is good to consider uh, also Maga of the Pitris because the forefathers, the ancestors as the beginning point. But ultimately, the beginning point of a circle depends on uh, what we can understand. So, yeah, a lot to discover, but the focus here is then this Taitriya Brahmana because it's such an old, ancient uh, text. So in these sutras, we find that actually three nakshatras are governed by Indra. So in the sutras... Uh, 1.5, there are three nakshatras of Indra, and these three are Chitra, 
Jester and uh, Satabishak. So Jester, we already know in modern astrology, Jester is governed by Indra, but also Chitra and not Vishwakarma and um, also Satabishak instead of Varuna. Uh, so growing um, Jesta is kind of the red glowing light of Indra. Satabishak is the 100 cures of Indra. You find a lot in the Puranas, Bhava Purana, a lot of these ancient stories. And they are all of Indra It is mentioned. Chitra is not related to Tvashtar or uh, Vishvakarma, the divine architect. Neither is Satabishak related to Varuna. But um, yeah, we have to take that a little bit with a grain of salt because maybe the energies were different. But in um, my observations, I have a whole list of architects and uh, painters and artists and almost all of them have some prominent Chitra placement. So it makes a lot of sense to have Chitra in this age, uh, related to Vishvakarma, actually. Now, two nakshatras are uh, Rohini in, uh, in this uh, ancient scripture of uh, Prajapati, the fourth nakshatra, as counted from Ashvini and commonly known as Rohini, and the other is what is commonly known as Jesta, which is which in the Taitriya Brahmana, chapter 1.5, is the Rohini of Indra and not uh, Jesta. So nakshatra ruled by planets Sun, Moon and Jupiter is also a very interesting observation. Um, it's that the deities of three nakshatras are actually uh, planets. So Akni is the name for the Sun or the deity of the Sun. Rules Kritika, the first of the nakshatras in this text. So Soma, the moon, is the deity of Mrigashira, which is uh, rather called Invaka in this text. And Brihaspati is Jupiter, the deity of Pusha, which is called Tisha in this text. So we're speaking about uh, ancient days. Huh? It's interesting also um, and important that only these three planets are deities actually of nakshatras. And these three planets are all related to time. So we got Jupiter uh, has uh, his cycles in uh, years. The sun has its cycle in months. And then the moon has its cycles in titis or lunar days. So these three planets are uh, kind of the hands of the clock, you could say, uh, or the hands on the clock of time. And for this reason, it is to be considered very important uh, deities of nakshatras. So for um, yeah, for extra information on all of this Vedic astrology, I have now, uh, I think, almost 10 lessons on basic astrology in one course. You can download the videos, you can download the course materials. Link is in the description if you want to dive deeper and understand uh, more the whole basics of uh, the interpretation of chart analysis. Now we come at the Adityas. Finally, it is to consider that several nakshatras are ruled by the powerful sons of Aditi, the deity of Punarvasha nakshatra. And um, so this nakshatra ruled by those Adityas, you could say, is Purva Palguni, um, F. Aryaman, Utra Palguni, Baga. So this is kind of reverse. Hasta, the deity of Savitri, Anuradha, Mitra, Revati, Pushan, and um, the tree of Chitra, Jesta, and Satabishak of Indra, according to this text. So Varuna, whom other texts relate to Satabishak Nakshatra, is also an Aditya here. So the Adityas, who are considered different aspects of the sun, are amongst the most powerful deities the the very if you have prominent position in those nakshatras you can already see some uh, strong personalities uh, coming to the surface so they're born of aditi who is the undivided goddess and who has such cannot divide herself into a part that can act separately within creation rather 
her children, the Adityas, act on her behalf. Also for this reason, as regent of Punarvashu, the nakshatra is not of her, but the nakshatra is for her, something she uses, not a differentiation of her. So um, for the details, check part one of this course on the 27 nakshatras through the Taitriya Brahmana. So the Aditya Indra also shares rulership with Akni over Vishaka Nakshatra. And so we see that Indra here is then related to four Nakshatras, but this is shared with Akni and through Vishaka Nakshatra. And is perhaps due to this um, shared powerful rulership that Vishaka Nakshatra is considered uh the one of the most excellent or the most excellent of the deva nakshatras all these nakshatras related to the adityas including that of vishaka are perhaps the most important nakshatras the qualities of these nakshatras are most important uh, also to be productive successful and have a meaning like a meaningful life and so the well-being of these nakshatras is most critical. So if you have also then troubled planets in these nakshatras, that can spoil the birth chart more red and, uh, readily than you do in other nakshatras. So keep a check on that. And then on the other hand, also powerful planets and good, strong dignity uh, can make so much more powerful uh, people. Um let me do one more chapter because there's going to be um, a few more things to discuss. Uh, for But I think that that's it for this video and I'll uh, upload part three in a later time. So thank you for watching. Again, link is in the description. If you want to connect with me, find also the course on Patreon, uh, some services that I have including sending uh, bird charts and consultations. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next uh, episode.